The year was 1861, and South Carolina forces had fired upon Fort Sumter. The American Civil War had begun, and with it the creation of a military unit that little is known about. It was comprised of Cherokee Indians and mountain men and fought most of the war in the hills of East Tennessee and Western North Carolina. It was known as Thomas's Legion. William Thomas was born in Haywood County in 1805. He was the son of Richard and Temperance Thomas. Uh, Richard Thomas's father passed away just a few months before uh, William was born. Uh, William uh, uh, lived in the wilderness in western North Carolina with his mother uh, with the Cherokee. Uh, when he was about 15, he went to work in a, a trading post. Later on, he saved up enough money to buy several more trading posts for himself, where he became good friends with the Cherokee. Uh, he traveled around a lot with them, going fishing, hunting. Uh, they showed him the ways of the Cherokee. He had a lot of respect for the Cherokee, and uh, later on in his life, when he was elected to the state senate, senate from Western North Carolina, uh, he tried to get citizenship and money for the land that was taken from the Cherokee during the Trail of Tears. The United States government uh, would not have anything to, to do with it. Who was William Thomas to the Cherokee? Well, it's, it's very debatable who Thomas was to to the Cherokees. To you know, uh, a lot of people say Tom Thomas was a an entrepreneur. It was kind of just looking out for himself. But you know, I kind of have a different opinion of him. You know, I'm, I've I've been able to look at all the things that he's done, his uh, his diaries and. And the fact is, he, he did a lot of work for the Cherokees. You know, the fact uh, that he could speak the language speaks volumes to me. And that uh, he, uh, he actually uh, fought for us and, and lobbied for us. And, and uh, I, I would say that Thomas is probably, his accomplishments are, uh, are not, they're undervalued. I think people, you know, they just, uh, you know, just recently they were they were wanting to name the the uh, piece of road out here that were that were set on. They wanted to call it Thomas Way. But there's a lot of oppositions among Cherokees about it, but the fact is, you know, uh, he's the reason we're here. You know, he to me, you know, uh, he's a hero. And but even heroes have uh, kind of chinks in their armor, and they're not perfect. But the fact that all that he did and everything that he accomplished and uh, I think he's a hero to the Cherokee. He was a friend to the Cherokee so that's kind of how I see Thomas. They uh, went into camp for two weeks in Knoxville and received uh, Confederate uniforms. Uh, they drilled and uh, mainly just uh, maintained roads and stuff around the Knoxville area then moved from there to Strawberry Plains. Uh, at Strawberry Plains, they were detailed to go to Sevierville and uh, create a road from Sevierville to North Carolina. Uh, after that, they were moved up toward uh, Cumberland Gap. Uh, they uh, come across some Yankees up there and they were attacked. Uh, several of the Cherokee were killed. One of them was a lieutenant. He was wearing a turban. When the Federal Army Seeing this man wearing a turban, laying on the battlefield, they couldn't figure out who he was. Just a few minutes later, Thomas's legion of the Cherokee attacked and run the Federal Army off. When they run them off, uh, they scalped them. And word got back to the Federal Army that here were men being scalped on the battlefield. And uh, word got back to Kirby Smith, the general in Knoxville, and he did not want to have anything to do with it. So he confronted Colonel Thomas about it. And Colonel Thomas said, I, I, this is the first I've heard of it. Whether Thomas knew anything about it or not, I don't know. But Thomas's legion fought a lot in East Tennessee, around Sevierville, Gatlinburg, 
uh, up toward Limestone Station, up into Virginia under Robert E. Lee. They had fought over in North Carolina. They fought in Monoxy against uh, General Custer. I believe that was the first group of Native Americans that actually went against Custer. They did not lose, but they held Custer off until the Confederate Army could come out of uh, Maryland at that time. One question remains to be unanswered. Why would the Cherokee fight in the Civil War? Why would they fight? Why would the Cherokees fight for uh, in the Civil War? Well, the fact is, you know, it's um, it's hard to you know to be in, in the middle of a hornet's nest and not do anything. And Cherokees, you know, are you know, and this is true about all natives and as Cherokees. We've been involved in every battle, every war that's been fought in, in the United States since it's, since it's begun and even before. You know, we were there, the Revolutionary War, we were involved there, the War of 1812, Civil War, World War One. We weren't even citizens of the United States, and we still fought. We were still part of it. But, uh, and, but Thomas, I guess, uh, Thomas at that time was deeply involved in the in the government. He was a senator uh, or past senator, and the fact that he, uh, you know, he was wealthy. He had, uh, you know, he he was uh, he had amassed a lot of land in North Carolina, and and he was doing things. Uh, Thomas had a vision to to kind of bring industry to Western North Carolina and. And to make things happen, he's building roads and and um, railroads, and he had a vision. But the Civil War came, and the fact that uh, you know a lot, a lot of the Cherokees, what they wanted, to, you know, there was talk about kind of using the Cherokees to kind of work the swamps and uh, you know and kind of integrate them in with other with uh, with the other troops and the non-native troops and. I guess the fact is, I, you know, and I'm just using conjecture, but I think Thomas was probably thinking, you know, they would be treated poorly. You know, they would they would have probably got the worst of of rations and equipment, which is probably true. You know, they would have been used, you know, almost like uh, animals, you know, to 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 work the swamps and you know. But the fact is, we're not swamp people.